dude. This is this is why I like these guys. This is why I like these guys. I mean, this is the dirty of the dirty. This is this is so dark. Yeah, it's so dark. It's a great day to play, everybody. Welcome on in to the channel. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's your first time here. You are rejoining us. Thank you for being here with us today. You're loved, appreciated, always welcome here in this channel. And you are enough. Today, we're doing something a little different. Mm. We are raising money yeah. for UNICEF for the holidays. Mm -hmm. Our This is actually, while well, we have been doing uh, charity events in the past, this is our first annual, because we're going to make this a thing, our first annual hope for the holidays. Okay. We have chosen to work with uh, UNICEF. Uh, this year and uh, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be recording these all live today So if you guys are watching this live congratulations, thanks for being here We ran a giveaway and uh, after the fact we'll be releasing these videos and if you're watching this uh, Make sure that if you want to donate to a really really worthy cause right in the description below the first thing you're gonna see is a link and all those money go directly to UNICEF we mm -hmm. are not a pass-through it goes through tiltify it goes directly to them um, so yeah, make sure that uh, make sure you show them some love because they're doing a lot of good things all around the world. But today we're gonna be watching some Pablo, uh -oh. La Luna, some more SB19, yeah, some more SB19. So that, like I, I want to say like after all the ones that we've done, this one and uh, Paleo are like the most requested at this point. Like what okay. we're seeing right now, people oh, wanting us to no. do. Oh no! What so, are we gonna do? So we're gonna be. Well, we're doing it now. Oh, better be good. I hope it's good. Better I hope it's good. I'm sure it is. it's gonna be fun. But anyway, guys, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, check out the charity stuff, and uh, and let's do this. Oh, ladies, on our way. Okay. This reminds me a little bit. Wow. Um, where are you going with this one? Me? Yeah, where are you going with this one? Oh, uh, it just... Uh, who's that guy? Uh, not not Joyner Lucas, but... um, Gosh. I can't remember the name of the guy right now. Kendrick. It, Kendrick it has, Lamar? He has, yeah, like a little bit of a Kendrick kind of flow. You know what I mean? I was going to say, this seems like old school, though. Like Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I was, I was showing uh, an artist that was in the other day because we were talking about like the difference between like just a storytelling hip hop song mm -hmm. and like like one that would be made for like pop radio. Right. And he like he didn't get it, and I pulled up. It was like an eleven year old song by kind of by Kendrick Lamar, and it sampled like this like really really cool like old school like New Orleans beat. Mm -hmm. And like this is what yeah this is what it was like. This is what it was like. Very good, very interesting here. All right, all right. I'm digging. I, I I hear you. I see you. Room for visitors. It'd be best if y'all leave me alone. Hey, go away. I'd be rude if I ask you to stay. Cause I'm gonna pray right before I try to eat my prey. You know what they say. Who cares That's what him. they say? Don't invade my space. Cause if you do, then I'll leave you like what you don't. Not okay. See, guru nga bana huna para kui magisi. So, are you gonna? Are you guys? Go, go, no, go. Go, no, ahead. So go ahead. If if I were so, and this is one of those times where, as a producer, you think about what would we have done in this song. So, sure. it if I were to have shown, if I were to show you a beat, mm -hmm. and it was a minute and fifteen seconds uh -huh. of just that, uh -huh. I don't think that we. I think we would have made the choice to can to go forward before that. Time. Yeah, right, right. But it's, I mean, that's why these producers are the, the, some of the best of the best. They knew that that's not where we're, they're supposed to go. Like, right. It's, it's the same thing over and over, but it's building this tension. You know yeah. what I mean? You're waiting and waiting and waiting. Right. Like, I want to hear. This song makes me think the, the music video looks like he's having a, 
like he's obviously having a conversation with himself, mm -hmm. but it's different hair. It almost seems like it's different time periods. And like, I'm, kind, I'm kind of paying attention to it. And I think that's where the buildup is, is I think it's almost like it, it seems very much like he's having an internal fight with himself, like his older self and his younger self. Yeah. And I think that that's maybe why it makes more sense that it's kind of dragging on mm -hmm. a little bit because it's not necessarily. And and this is where language makes it hard. It's that. I think to us, because we're not necessarily getting all the bits and pieces right away, it seems like it's taking a long time. But I think what's actually happening here, judging by the lyrics and seeing this, is it's actually one part talking and another ta right. talking back, right. and one part talking and another part ta talking back. Mm -hmm. And so, like, it, I, I don't know. It seems very, very cool here, and I'm very intrigued to see what comes next. <laughs> Dude, this is this is why I like these guys. This is why I like these guys. I mean, this is the dirty of the dirty. This is this is so dark. Yeah, so dark. This so after we started talking about that and hearing kind of like the cadences and the build, this felt almost like very like um, Lin Manuel Miranda in the cadence Hamilton. Oh right, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hamilton. Uh, um, well, and a lot of Hamilton Heights. sounded like right. Eminem. Because, well, and because it was based off of like his whole first mixtape, right? It was very much so bringing kind of like those very older underground mm -hmm. styles into a new age of music. And so like, it's really, really cool. Cause I feel like that's, I feel like with the story that that's how it feels to yeah. me. And that's a, that's a great feeling. Don't get me wrong. Like Hamilton is like the biggest freaking thing yeah. out there in terms of musicals. Like that's a really, really cool feeling to have with this. Oh man. Mm -hmm. The shackles mm -hmm. here too. Like dude. Can we also talk about the backing really quick? Yeah, that's what you the do. growls, the ah, uh, <laughs> like those, those yeah. big like like yeah, dude. It's like it's full. Just, it's so good. It is full. And he's the he does a lot of the producing, right? Is that him? Yeah, yeah. He does a lot wow. of his own stuff. He does a lot of his own songwriting. I know they work with and co-produce stuff with people, but he does a lot of the writing and the produ pro, uh, the pre-production stuff. Unbelievable. So, this is wild, dude. Man. <laughs> This is crazy. I, I say it all the time with them, but like, <clears throat> it's it's so 
it's like it's like if you took western this and, and this is hip hop obviously yeah, yeah. he has a lot of things in the background that are very and some of his cadence and stuff remember like old Eminem tracks where he used to do all kinds of stuff mm-hmm. in the background like all the chainsaws yeah, and all the yeah, stuff, yeah. you know blah blah yeah um but this is but it's like a new version plus also like in his in his style and like the backing so perfect and he's got so many things going on the that part where whatever was panned yeah like i was it literally made me go what hey it was like i thought really, she yeah. said something or something yeah it was done really really well and I, so they already had this crazy build in it and then over the past like this 10 12 seconds about like 3 10 3 15 when that started coming in when all of a sudden it started building more i was like where the hell are they finding room for all this shit yeah you know what i mean mm-hmm. like there's so there's so much going on yeah. there and it you hear every single piece of it just perfectly it's, just perfectly so cool and what people or people i mean to mix a song like this yeah the beginning just having what's in the beginning mm-hmm. you're letting all this stuff breathe like the few things in the beginning yeah, yeah. and then you have to start like <laughs> cutting out so many frequencies when you get further up and then it's like this huge thing and then i it, it would be a headache to to mix it we just basically are putting the finishing touches on a song that we're working on yes uh, the biggest the biggest it, one that we've ever yes, done yes. in terms of production and uh and it's taken how many months for us to get to the point that we're at now <laughs> well there was a lot of learning that went through there there's yeah. a big learning curve to make sure that we can yeah. we did all that right so it's right. been about three months or so yeah um but now I we mean, can do it a, we could know, do it a lot, faster, a lot faster but faster. either way though even with all of that with the amount of layering like like you said it's surgical because the minute that you move one thing yeah then it's like oh well now i gotta find a place for this and yes. oh no, well now this can be tweaked a little bit and yeah. so like to really get it to that level where it feels really really good there's so much more work that goes into it than just slap it on there and let yeah. it work and it's the reason that a lot of groups choose to stay away from tracks like this yeah. big busy track right because they are so cool and they draw you in but a lot of people cannot pull it off that's why that's why most western music is like a little simpler yeah. where like you know um like Katy perry tracks are huge yep They're, yeah you know, but she has the three best producers on the planet mm-hmm. that work for her but yep. most most western music isn't like that it's a producer in his basement who's selling the beats and then someone finds it right um so it's right. a lot easier i mean it, it's it's just so difficult to do stuff like this yeah yeah it's crazy <laughs> Old-timey handcuffs look terrible. Dude. (laughs) So, musicality aside, it really, really, again, kind of watching this, it's almost like his older self is telling his younger self, like, like his younger self's crying out for help, and the older self is, like, trying to help him, like, break free of whether those are emotions, whether those are feelings, the way that he felt about himself. In a lot of the lyrics, it seems like that's where they're going with this one. Mm-hmm. So like, they did such an amazing job. Like, if that is the case, and I'm not wrong about that, they did a very, very good job musically of telling that story with that build Yeah. towards the yeah. end. You know, of, of kind of like, when, especially in the end when those all came in and like the choral number, like it, it almost felt like it was like wrapping around you, like pulling you up and trying to help you, you know, it just, yeah. I'm just man. like, I'm, I'm hearing that and to have two different string ensembles doing two different things. Yeah. You know, uh, I mean, there's some, there's some horns following it too, but like, mm-hmm. good job. Good job. <laughs> what else just do you say to that? Not a whole lot. So good. So good. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you guys so, so much. Um, and thank you all, uh, for the donations at this point in the stream, we are at $400 in donations. Please. If you're watching this after the fact, uh, make sure we are going to leave those links up below until the final video comes out. So I'm guessing probably about two weeks. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you're watching this right now and the link is still active, please consider a donation to UNICEF yes. goes directly to them. Um, that's what we're raising money for. There's a lot of people all around the world right now that are struggling. There's a lot of things going on between war, things happening in Ukraine, COVID relief efforts. I, I mean, and UNICEF does so much to help people, yeah. especially with, and we're having all these weather issues now. I mean, yeah. earthquakes, they, they do it all. They do it all. So, um, yeah. And with the channel, with the channel this size, 
we have a chance to actually make a very big difference in the right. next two weeks. So, right. Um, so thank you guys so much. Uh, keep checking them out. Keep leaving your comments down below. We do love reading them. Um, man, the more SP19 we do. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like the be the better and the better that they get. So I'm super, super excited about that. Thank you guys for being so kind uh, with us, 18. Uh, yeah. And uh, you guys have been so kind to us. So don't forget, like, subscribe to the notification bell. Uh, check us out. Check out our live stream Saturday is uh, noon central time. And uh, and yeah, go from there. Nobody told you that I love you today. Don't forget that we love you. You're appreciated. Always welcome here in this channel. And you are enough. And last but certainly not least, it was a great day to play. Thanks, guys. See you in the next video. Bye. Bye.